Greetings everyone, my name is Edderville, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Cathedral. Continuing on from the last episode, I'll be going to the upper part of the Shade Forest in order to access the Ice Peak Mountain. It's been quite a while since we last been here. And as always, for full disclosure, I received the key from the developers in order to let's play this title. Remember this area which was blocked off by these branches? With the lamp that can cross over. I could have gone here right after the Necromancer's Den, but I wouldn't be able to progress that far though. These archer enemies are still rather dangerous. Even with my health and armor upgrades. I'm obligated to check these lower locations too. And of course, I need telepathy instead of my soul charm. I'm just thankful the Charm Shrine is nearby. Now let's see what's in here. Next armor augmentation. 4% chance of avoiding damage. I really want the loot magnet, but knowing my luck, I probably missed it. I'm hoping it's in a future location, like in the Ice Peak Mountains or the castle. Basically, in order to even get over here, you need both the lamp and double jump. I'm probably also dashing for good measure. This room feels rather suspicious. There are only one value coins here. At least the rangers don't run into you.
make use of your abilities. So we need a skeleton wand, dash jumping, and soul fly. And probably the magnet too for good measure. So the charm shrine was actually over here. Now I feel kind of dumb for backtracking. For a death maze, that wasn't too bad. Maybe this is what I'm supposed to do? I think this is it. Yeah, exactly. Yet again, the puzzle solution was very straightforward. I mean, if the health restoration statue is right here, I'll take full advantage of it. I remember you. You are an uncharacteristically strong enemy. That's strange. I have to do it from the other side, but how do I get there anyways? Oh well, I'll figure out later. I like how I can chain together items, like so. Even all my upgrades, the Green Magician's Fireball still deal a lot of damage. I need telepathy. That's strange. Why two blocks like that? Wait a minute, let me take another look up here. I thought they would be hiding a book up there. It's 
Something's up here. Come on, help me, ghost. Thank you very much. Well, I can't enter from there, so... Guess we'll enter from the bottom, then. I know there are further parts of Shade Forest which I haven't explored yet. I made it to the Ice Peak Mountains again. Left to Lookout, right to Tinkerton. And here's the connection to the Cathedral. Let me try opening up the connection first, then I'll go to Tinkerton. So we have Goatman. I know there are harpies somewhere. There is an item here. I guess in the ISP castle, I'll obtain an item that'll allow me to destroy those blocks. Because I can see some treasure behind it. And you know how this game works with treasure. Wait, this connects back over here. There's a connecting part, but of course it's blocked off by that ice block. A demonstration of me being frozen. This will become a lot more annoying and dangerous in the dungeon. Let's see how big this place is. Really big. The castle entrance is probably here. 
I don't know what this is connected to. Uh, you know what? I think I'll backtrack over to Tinkerton now. I mean, it was fairly obvious. Other upgrades of the like were hidden in similar locations. Well, I guess the pathway to Tinkerton is blocked off too. I need something to break through that block. So let's climb up this ladder and see what's over here. Once I gain access to Tinkerton, I'm gonna immediately use the teleporter there to get back to the Ivystone graveyard. There is probably something very important located under Magnus's grave. Let's try performing this jump properly this time. There's the health statue. But I can't use it, it's also blocked off. This area is blocked off too. So this is basically a dead end. Now let's see if I can access the right pad out of here. Looks like I can. Having more freeze resistance would also be handy. Let me see what's up over here, as this room is isolated from the other ones. Oh, actually it does have an exit upwards. My bad.
at last, some treasure I can get. This pad is blocked off. This is open though. I didn't mean to fall down here. Time to backtrack. I can't access this area, so let's check out the lower area over here. Perhaps this will link up with Tinkerton. Wait, something's to the right. Oh goody, Icicle Skulls. So once I taught them, I can essentially pogo off of them. Or even stand on top of them as solid platforms. That mage over there makes me really concerned. Yet I got killed by the harpy. The most dangerous enemies in this area are the Harpies and the Ice Slimes. The Harpies because they can charge and how damaging they are, and the Ice Slimes because they can freeze me. Like so. I should have taught it that earlier. And for those wondering, I cannot spawn in the bone in midair. I have to be on solid ground first.
Well, I found a hidden shrine. It's you again from the graveyard. Let's keep trying. Maybe four to fifth times a charm? Guess I can't enter this place yet. I need to visit the graveyard first. I could have gone to the graveyard by this point, but I wanted to visit Tinkerton first. Now before I go back to the graveyard, let me see what's over here. In case there's something of use. The torch I'm looking for is probably located at the top of this mountain. Ah, oh, so close. If only that slime wasn't there. Once again, they're one of the more dangerous enemies of this area. I would use my arrows more if they dealt more damage to enemies. Right now I'd rather just use them for hitting switches at distances. At the very least I made to Tinker 10. The long way around. Mastery lost train and sparring. I want to find the teleporter, the shop, the bank, and any other quest givers. There's the bank. This will be really handy and I want it now. I'd also like the Onyx armor, but I won't have it for a while. You know what, let me save for the Onyx armor first. That's going to be much more handy than 25% freeze resistance.
Maybe the torch is hidden in the mines instead. Nidlong's probably going to be revived. I see, I have to go to Svevton's house, then go to that house. I need to do these in a particular order so I can get the password. What do you want me to do? Test the bravery, knowledge, and in return. Each one corresponds to a different digit of the password. So, two dragon statues, which means that it should be four. Two, four, something, something. Let's see what he has to say. So now I can access the mines. Green fire. Pat is now shot. Let green flame at dragon twins show the secret pat. Well, I do have a lamp that does produce green fire. Sure, let's see what's inside. The void. No map either. This chamber was created in the void after the long battle against Nidlong. Sadly, we did not manage to destroy the Dragon King. The beast is merely imprisoned in Ice Peak Castle. You who set a foot here must be in possession of the legendary lantern. You have proven yourself worthy. Enclosed in this chamber, you will find an object of great value. Wielding it will help you survive the icy winds of Ice Peak. End Nidlong once and for all before Ardor returns again. Ah, sword upgrade. Jade. Legendary jade infused blade once wielded by Ardor's main officer. Deals plus 3 damage. I was waiting for one of these upgrades for a while. I knew he was still alive. That's how it usually goes in these games. Test the knowledge done. Now we need to go down into the mines. At first I thought it was going to be a straight shot up to Ice Peak Castle, but no. 
We have to take a detour to the mines. I think that's all the quests I can turn in right now, so down we go. And there's the password. Um, maybe it's 1124? No? I don't get it. I'll be right back. Maybe there's some hints down over here. I'll be saving the desolate mines for the next episode. So in summary, I made it through the upper part of the Shade Forest, entered the Ice Peak Mountains, but most of the routes were blocked off by those ice blocks. And I should have visited Magnus' tomb earlier, as right now, I'll have to return to the Hidden Shrine. At the very least, I made it to the dwarven town of Tinkerton, and got my second sword upgrade. Well then, thanks for watching, and have a nice day. Toodles!